So, <coughs> Fusion Gamer here. Here we are, finally, November 19th, 2019, and after four years, 12 FAQs, 124 updates, it currently stands 133,890 comments, 69,320 backers, $6,333,295, Fangamer, YesNet, Deep Silver, Epic Game Store, otherwise known as Epic Bullshit Store, because we don't do Epic Bullshit Store. After all this, after four years, four something plus years, a couple of delays, a whole load of nonsense, which my second video will address, not this first one, because this is the first part. We ended up, first, par first parcel has arrived, we end up with this. They think this is the collector's edition of Shenmue 3. Fuck you. This iPad, I, my tier, was the $300 tier for the signed Kickstarter collector's edition. This is not a fucking collector's edition of Shenmue 3. This is not the day one edition. This is not a collector's edition. It's not a steel case edition. It's just a stupid paper slipcase, not even a steel case. In fact, even if a, a proper collector's edition would have a proper big box with stuff in it and then a steel case edition of the game or something similar on top of that, this means fuck all nothing. The game itself, the proper version of this would at least have day one edition written at the top. This does not say collector's edition, doesn't say day one edition, none of that. Sorry, but don't, 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 don't forget what happened, what's happened in the last four years. Whatever occurred has nothing to do with us. Without us, your fucking game wouldn't exist! So if anyone deserves a day one edition, a collector's edition, an actual proper chunky five box set, on launch day, which is today, it should be us. Us backers. All of us, all 70,000 of us, because there were 69,000 on the normal one, then there was a slacker back campaign after that. Fuck you, Shenmue 3, fuck you, YesNet, fuck all of them. Because this is not what, this was not the deal. This wasn't the deal. This is not what we asked for. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter about the money from Sony or the money from a big game store, you owe all 70,000 of us a proper chunky fan box set on launch day. You know what I see you looks like? This! This is what a collector's edition looks like. This is my Dishonored 2 collector's edition. A big chunky fan thingy that actually meant, that actually it cost a lot of money but actually meant something. This is what a collector's edition looks like, Shenmue 3. A big fucking massive big box. Not some idly pilly thing and this. Now the granted they owe me physicals as well, which I do uh, in, a, in, a, in like a week or a couple of weeks from now, which is fine. But like the physical physical soundtrack, physical art, because I, uh, I think uh, a couple of other bits and the rest of it's all the um, in-game items. Oh, and by the way, yeah, PS4 version. No, why? Because the PC version went to Epic Game Store, I had no choice but to change to this. It was either change to this or get a refund. Give me back my fucking money. You scammers. You scammers. You fucking scumbags. I don't care who's in charge over there, yes, Nat. This is not how you treat one of your original backers from over four years ago. Fuck you. Oh wow, it's actually got a game in that Oh yeah, the game just goes in there. We have a game disc and nothing. <laughs> I have to laugh at this because there's nothing else in here. Granted, I know where my back of codes are because I checked it on my on my on my survey. My actual in-game cold thingy is digital. It would have been nice to have some, some codes in here as well, 
just in case your, your digital sign failed. This is not worth $300, in fact, fuck you, this is not even worth $60, which is a launch price for a standard PS4 launch. Oh. And bear in mind, I'm not even going into my list yet. Yes, the list of all the problems that you caused that, that need fixing will be addressed. Of, 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 you know, <laughs> this exclusivity bullshit nonsense is, is, is not on. Limiting your audience is never a good thing. Why would you limit your audience? Nintendo did this years ago with the GameCube with Resident Evil Zero and there wasn't even remake and it was GameCube only. They limited the audience so it didn't get an up proper audience and it didn't make the money. Exclusivity is pure bullshit. It was BS back then and it's still BS now. Because limiting your audience means you're not gonna get as many fans not gonna get as much. Uh, uh, not gonna have a public. Your community. Not, your community will be divided, and it won't make the money because you're not maximising your sales. The photo frame series has waited for years to come up with the PC. Why haven't we got a photo frame from P from um, the Nintendo side over to PC or the PS2 side remastered over to PC? Because I don't know why, but the photo frame series should be on PC, and, and it's not, and it just pisses me off to no end. <sighs> and some of you are not, are not there will be like, well, well what are you arguing for? It's just a different game launch. In fact, by the way, I have a PS4 digital library. That's one. Steam, that's two. I use GOG, that's three. I use Uplay, Ubisoft side, that's four. And I even use EA's Origin, that's five. So don't come along with this bullshit saying that I don't lose multiple platforms because I did because I fucking do. This is not an acceptable situation by any means. Give me back my fucking money.